What's up fam and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for stopping by the channel today. I have a guest with me. Hi, this is Nadine. Welcome everybody. We've been gone for a while guys, but we're back. And so we wanted to come on today and just talk with you a little bit. Um, we wanted to thank everyone just for the outpouring of love that was in the live chat last week, Saturday, when we premiered um, Cosmic Awakening. Oh, you can feel the love in the chat. Everybody just loved the topic and just everybody's just energy that came together just made made it just love. You it, can feel it. It was beautiful because I even noticed like some people that were in the chat was like, oh, I can feel the love vibe. Mm -hmm. I really love that. Thank you, you guys. We'll be back on this Saturday um with the twin flames oh. and we'll yeah we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into a different perspective with that mm -hmm. so stay tuned for that join the chat you guys i love interacting with you all i love the love energy mm -hmm. and the positive vibes and that's a high vibration the love um frequency is a, the highest one it is mm -hmm. and then the love is just like you know we're gonna move this planet we're gonna elevate the ele elevate the um what is it the energy mm -hmm. the vibration of this planet which is love also we have our 21 day um renewing of the mind challenge which starts on monday and so if you have um purchased a the 21 day um renewing of the mind guided journal is on the screen here on amazon if you've purchased one and you would like to be in the 21 day challenge please send me your email with your receipt purchase so i can add you to the zoom because we'll be having weekly check-ins mm -hmm. um i have some assignments i'm gonna give you guys <laughs> because you know like when it comes to presenting this information if you don't have any interaction with it if you're not working with it sometimes it's the type of thing where you just hear a presentation and then you get caught up in your day-to-day -day life and just that information is gone so what we want to do we created this um 21 day guide where you actually have activities to help you identify negative thought patterns mm -hmm. And then we're going to combat them with positive that thought patterns. And we'll help you with application. Because yeah. a lot of times you listen and you learn it, but you don't apply it. We so don't apply it. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing about intelligence or someone that is intelligent. They can acquire knowledge, mm -hmm. but they also can apply it. Apply it right. Yeah. And a lot of times it's that people don't know how to do it. So we want to go. We want to jump into this and really identify these thought patterns because as a man thinks in his heart so is he so is he that's what, <laughs> that's what it says it, it yeah. says it so um and if you um haven't purchased your book and you're going to purchase it by tomorrow evening you can still jump into the um the zoom class with us um and your book should come you know in the week mm -hmm. and even if it comes later on in the week you can still um go back and catch up with us sorry guys about the phone so we also have the healing for your soul that one is just like a free write journal mm -hmm. but it's good because you can actually as we're going through the 21 day journal you can actually go over there and the downloads you get and the reflections yeah. you get write your progress down and how you're doing yeah you know. i love journaling because mm -hmm. i just feel that a lot of the times i'll get like a, a thought and i jot it down it's the same here mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'll go back later and, and you read it over and you see how much growth you have yeah when you look it over mm -hmm. so um i created these because initially i think it was um i think we talked like sometime last year mm -hmm. and I, I was saying like i asked the lord what is it that the people need and what I got was they just need to have, um, they need tools to have effective relationships. Mm -hmm. So we just went on this, we went on fasting and praying mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, and, and here we are now. So um, definitely you can um, check out the handmaiding, the um, Restore Peace and Harmony website um, and, just check it out. The podcast is on there. A lot of people emailed me and said they enjoyed just listening to it on the podcast, but then they actually had to go over to YouTube and listen. So all praise to the most high. Um, 
once you for those of you who have purchased the book you can go to the contact section on restore peace and harmony shoot me an email then i'll send you an email back with the um link to the zoom okay make sure you do that if you want to get into the zoom all right so we want to um just kind of go into the topic for today it's not going to be long i think what we'll do is between the podcast we'll come on in and do little stuff like this Mm -hmm. right and this one was don't block the power and it ties back into that thought process having negative thought process all right so for as he thinketh in his heart so is he that's proverbs 23 7. so we talked about in the cosmic awakening we talked about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and we know that the conscious mind that's where it retru- it holds like um just like regular um memories and it and you know it uh, it has the thought there but we also talked about the subconscious mind which actually holds your beliefs your realities your emotions um that's the part that you can be on autopilot, autopilot. <laughs> you and know? you don't even know it, it, it. It's working when you're not even yeah. consciously thinking. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why I said most of humanity is on autopilot. Your habits are there, so we. It's very important, you guys. This work ahead is definitely going to be a mental, mental work, and um, so we want to make sure that we know we're prepared and we know how to um, elevate our minds and. The, the main way to do that is by combating negative thoughts. thoughts. You have to put yourself kind of like on a mental diet. Yeah. Every thought that comes through. At first, it's hard, yeah. but it gets easy as you go. Every thought that comes through, you evaluate. Is this thought benefiting me? Yeah. And if it's not, no, it has to go. Yeah. Or is there another way I could see this? See yeah. This? Is mm-hmm. there another way I could think? And you right. know, like, when you really, once you, once you really start doing this work, you see how distorted all of our thoughts have been it been yeah and a lot of times we go right to the negative we do and yeah. every and i mean it and people who don't even think they go to the negative yeah you go into you the do. negative yeah and people don't realize and even if you look in even science thoughts create yeah they do mm-hmm. and um good or bad and we're going to get into that tomorrow mm-hmm in the video. I'm really excited about that video. I'm excited too, because it, it kind of liberates you when you find this yeah. out. Like I've been, yeah. I've been saying that I'm in a dangerous level of freedom lately, you know, like for this world, it's, it's not good, but for the kingdom of heaven, it's like, yeah, right yeah. on time. So I'm going to go over. So in the book, we, um, we have a quiz that we give you where you identify and see if you are you know, um, exhibiting some of these negative thought patterns. So I thought I would come on and show you guys one of the distorted thoughts, right? So on the screen here, I have number one, all or nothing. This is a thought. This is a thought process, all or nothing. You look at things in absolute black and white. Mm -hmm. So let's just stop here, everybody. Think about some of the thoughts you had today. And did you exercise this thought process it had to be just black and white okay I'll give you guys an example what I noticed that um, I hear a lot in like a lot of these churches or groups or you know just anything Mm -hmm. with a lot of people sometimes I would hear people say things like um that's okay they were never with us anyway they can leave they were never if they left us they were never with us um that is an all or nothing type of thought process. Mm -hmm. And what makes it negative is because people have the right to um, move on, um, move to something different. If the information that they received was beneficial and it's time for them to move on, they have that option to what? To to grow and to, that's gross. Yeah. It's it's not, they got what they needed for that time. Yeah. And then they go and they learn something else. Right. And I think it's kind of manipulative to Mm -hmm. even say stuff like that because um, even in the school system, you go from first grade, Mm -hmm. second grade, third grade, you don't stay in in one place, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's okay if you move on to another teacher or another group or another aspect in life i mean it doesn't just have to be just for groups and stuff like that but if you just 
decide it's time to move on you've learned what you needed to you know hey it's okay to make that decision and so that's one of the negative thought process that i see um a lot just all or nothing what are some of the ones that you've seen with all or nothing i've seen like um say um even if you're in a group and um you maybe are friends with somebody that's not in that group mm. and you're having a, a situation and that person that's not in that group gives you some advice that the most high gave them mm -hmm. to give to you but because they're not in your group you're feeling I don't know if I should believe her. Yeah. Maybe that she's not saying the right thing because she's not a part of mm. us. Mm. No, so it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. That's mm -mm. not what the Most High told me. Yeah, he said he'll use who he wants to use. Mm -hmm. You know, so we we can't be all or nothing. Um, I've also been told, don't be judgmental. That's you true. know, because sometimes you have like your family, people who you don't think is in tune with the most high according to you um they would tell you give you some words of wisdom but you don't listen because they're not their lifestyle doesn't fit the mode that it's you true. think it should fit mm -hmm. you guys um so we just have to jump in and and, and tackle these thoughts mm -hmm. we can't be mentally lazy we no you can't <laughs> we have to actually be the gatekeepers of our, our minds because mind, it creates it and, does and so you have to look how many negative things I've thought and it created? Ooh. So if you think that and say, well, how much positive, if I think, will create? Yeah. And, and it's so funny now because now that I know how to do this, and if I let a negative thought go through now, and I'm, I can see how it was created, mm -hmm. I'll see it on the outside. Yeah, you can see it on the outside. <laughs> yeah, you just look, just look and say, well, hey, I've been thinking all these negative all this time. Hey, and I'm seeing the evidence. So match it if you do the positive yeah. what you're going to see yeah yeah mm -hmm. so the the subconscious mind is the powerhouse behind our thoughts feelings perceptions and beliefs and it's always creating the conscious mind if it tells it something we said in the last video the conscious mind is programmed and it's going to go ahead and carry it out it's mm -hmm. not trying to be logical or anything it's just going to carry it out whether good or bad so we have to get a hold of our thoughts be mindful of your thoughts as they can see themselves and turn into deep rooted weeds that are almost impossible to pull up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got to do the work. Yeah, you do. You got to do the work because if you don't do the work, then earth is making this transition, whether we like it or not. And if you don't do the work, what's going to happen is when this light of the holy spirit comes in full force you're going to be overloaded with light it's going to be too much for you to 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 handle this is renewing of the mind it is we've always all that scripture that we have to yeah. change and remove another that's that's real renewing of the mind it's the renewing of the mind mm -hmm. that's what's happening we see the human resonance is trying to um bring our awareness our conscious awareness up our mindsets and some of you are, are probably even noticing like you're noticing like belief systems that you had and you're noticing that you have to let them go now you have to let them go yeah yeah i'm noticing a lot of stuff even about myself and i was like this this um this book i need to we it's something that i need to on go do on you know it's an ongoing thing yeah mm -hmm. don't just stop so we're mm -hmm. going to start the first cycle of this the first challenge um on sunday and then we'll start back up again um probably towards the end of august so it's something that we will do and we're just gonna get in there and tackle these thoughts so sis what does this have to do with um the word so let's just jump into it. Um, I have Mark 6 pulled up in the King James Version. Don't block the power. And I like this one. Remember, we spoke about this. Mm -hmm. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man, from whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him mm -hmm. that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands <laughs> so you know mm -hmm. christ was speaking in the synagogue and he was just letting you know letting the light shine and they were like who is this mm -hmm. <laughs> and so here here we go 
is this is not this the carpenter the son of mary the brother of james and of judah and simon and are not his sisters here with us and they were offended at him <laughs> And Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And so what I put here in red was familiarity. Familiarity breeds contempt. People don't respect you because they think they know you too well. And here Christ was teaching and they were astonished by his teaching, but they tried to downplay him and say, oh, isn't that his mother? um where did he come from who is he you know isn't that kind of almost like the all or nothing yeah 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 all or Whatever. nothing mm -hmm. it is and it's a couple of the other things that's in the book too mm -hmm. which we'll go into um a little later but um they tried to downplay him because they knew him <laughs> they were too so they started to they were actually disrespecting mm -hmm. they couldn't even listen to the message he was bringing because of their mindset towards him so and he could he and he could there do no mighty work save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them Woo! Wow. Woo! and he marveled because of their unbelief and he went round about the villages teaching so here he 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 had the power to heal many people but he could not. Why could he not heal as many people as he could? Because the power was there. It was flowing. It's more power when there's a collective yeah. together and you're on the same mindset and, and, and you also have the faith mm -hmm. and you believe, hey, this is going to happen. The Most High is going to do this. Then it, it, it it's like it's, it energizes yeah. and it happens. Right. Because we just showed you earlier in the scripture the mindset of the people, mm -hmm. right? And then you see unbelief. Unbelief is something that is a part of the subconscious mind and that mm -hmm. happens as a result of negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. See, so Christ couldn't even, it's like they capped the power. Yeah. His Holy Spirit couldn't even flow because of the unbelief of the people there. Mm. If you have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move and be cast in sea and it, and it will. I yeah. Mean, I don't think we believe that though. No, <laughs> but their mindset. Right. And so it's important that you even place yourself around people who um, have positive mindsets mm -hmm. because it's going to stomp your growth. It's just going to, and it will lift you up to lift your vibration and frequency up. And it, and it encourages you too, as well, to believe yeah. and to think positive. Right. Mm -hmm. So here we see the, how powerful the mind is, right? And how we have to get control of our thoughts. So thank you all for stopping by the channel. We're going to see you tomorrow night at 6 o'clock p.m. We're going to tackle these thoughts, mm -hmm. right? Because it's time. This is the renewing of the mind. It's time, yes. It's time to get these thoughts under Which subjection like mental diet you yep. have to do it we got to mm -hmm. get on this mental diet um we it's, we can't play church no more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, that time is over mm -hmm. i mean everything is speeding up mm -hmm. you have you noticed that things are moving fast um the information that we're learning is just coming in yeah and so you know you just have to like i said re renew the mind yeah you and take a hold of it mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, like, the downloads are coming like crazy. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, get you a journal, guys. Jot this stuff down, what's going on in your life. You're going to go back and and you'll we'll see, see the growth. Yeah. See the growth and be blown away because mm -hmm. then maybe one day the Lord was showing you something and you didn't get it, but you wrote something down. You go back two or three days later and bam, it's like, wait a minute. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it's like seeds being planted in the mind yeah. and then waiting for harvest. Yeah. And when you're thinking the good thoughts, it'll be positive yeah. things. Yeah, it does cha change your mm -hmm. mind, change your life. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you all for stopping by the channel. For those of you who signed up for the 21-day challenge, don't forget to hit us up on the hand, um, Restore Peace and Harmony. Go to the contact section. Drop me an email with your receipt purchase so I can get you into that Zoom call. I'll see everybody tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. 
Shalom. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.